Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to NASCAR Way at the Chase License Mode. I don't know. We're in part number 13. We're uh, in COT Speedway stuff. We're doing the fourth challenge out of 10 for these, which is the uh, Speed Trap in New Hampshire. I have not raced in New Hampshire in this game in six, seven years now, so it's been, uh, been a good, good long while. So it's a Speed Trap one, so that's always going to be uh, torturous. So Let's just see. Stay above 106. 106 was the nightmare one that, that we had at frickin' Richmond. I'm scared. I'm, I'm scared. I, I don't want to rage, but I feel like it's going to happen. We'll, we'll see what we'll see what happens. The minimum speed is 106. So I'm going to try to think of this as like a Richmond of some sorts and really try to go wide and go in. And I think we just barely got 106 that time. Oh, God. We're still at 106. Never mind. Well, not anymore. Okay, we're still learning. It's we're still learning, so it's okay. Let's try this again, and try to go in super wide. Try to arc it down low. Keep looking at the mile per hour. Try not to go under that, obviously. And we get through turn one just fine, or turns one and two just fine. And our tires are already getting absolutely obliterated in one corner, which is already kind of scary. So just take our time. Don't have to go for a world record. Just got to make sure you don't hit the track. Oh, hit the wall. And the corners are super damn wide. So there there we go. We complete it. So, oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, we actually got way above the minimum speed thing. So, yeah. All right. That was a little bit easier. I mean, the track's wide enough. So, yay. So, the next challenge is the draft timer. Again, why do I have to worry about the draft in New Hampshire? Well, I'll see how long it is. 20 seconds. Okay, that does not sound bad, but it might be a couple of laps, so. I don't know. We'll just, we'll just see. We'll just see. I don't know if I'm going to be mad yet, but I just have to see. So we need to get to first, stay in the draft of any other car, so. Well, that's not going to work. So we have two laps to go from 11 to first. That sounds kind of insane. But then again, I don't know. Maybe they'll just go slow, like they always do in these stupid damn challenges. Gonna bump it down to third gear, keep in the draft with Stewart, and there we go. So we're losing a little bit of time. Help. I guess we'll try the outside here, try to get by Stewart. They're, maybe they're just gonna go slow. Again, I'm still learning the ways of the track, so it could very well change. I cannot, for the life of me, stay in the draft. I thought I was in somebody's draft at least, but I guess I wasn't. Again, I'm not paying attention. I'm trying to. Okay, I'll give you that game. That was that was too many car impacts. That was just that was one car impact. Oh, plural or singular game? Pick it. I I literally lost a second and I didn't even do anything yet. <laughs> like this thing just started and I lost a second. Uh, all right, game. You know you do you. Yeah, this game, I swear. It just doesn't know what it would, wants to be. Does it want to be stupid? Does it want to be smart? Who freaking knows? How am I still losing time if I'm in the draft with freaking Vickers? Like, what? Can I... Oh, Gordon! I'm, I'm afraid to turn too much because then I'm going to just die. Gordon, you know, I'm there, you know? I'm there a little bit. All right. We're in the draft. We kind of cheesed it a little bit, but the field just kind of fucking stopped. this game. I don't know. I, that was, I mean, it was kind of my fault, but... I mean, how come I didn't lose the second there? I mean, lost the second there, but, like, as soon as the session started, I lost the second. Like, can you explain that to me, game? I don't know. So, we'll just try to get by store and get into this draft with, like, all these main cars up here. Get down to third gear. And we're losing a little bit of time. Thankfully, they give me 20 seconds, and it's two laps, so it, they're, I mean, they're super generous with this one. Of all tracks, you would think they wouldn't, but no, they, they will, they're going to make Atlanta, like, really stupid hard. Oh, well, that was definitely contact game. That was contact too. <laughs> I feel, I feel so drunk half the time playing. Oh my god. Go. Just fucking go. Like, <laughs> They just, they just stopped. They, they just stopped. <laughs> Here we go again. Just... 
I just don't know sometimes. You know, this game... Again, challenges that I thought... I honestly thought the New Hampshire speed challenge thing was going to be a pain and as we made contact, but whatever. It's nothing new that the controls are bad. Like, it, it's not anything new to discuss. So, we're going to lose a little bit of time here. I know I can get there, like, to the front. No fucking problem. It's just, it's just either... Just all of a sudden, they just they slow down, or you know I can't hold the line for the life of me. So well, that was contact. That was definitely contact. Thank you, game. Going to turn one. Get by Stuart. Lose a little bit of time. I don't care. There we go. Should turn my mirror on. That's not the mirror. That's NASCAR Heat Evolution's mirror. There we go. All right, now we're back to normal. And they're slowing up for no good reason. So we'll just go to the inside. Just dive on turn three. Not really being in the draft, so we're kind of cheesing the rules again, but. It's, they, they gave me enough time, so whatever. And now I'm just scared, because I don't know if they're just going to stop off the corner, or if David Gillen's going to ram my ass. So, you know, pick your poison. Should be able to get by David Reagan here, no problem. And there we go. We end this challenge. Thank the good lord. That was harder than it needed to be. But I got through it. Next challenge is the fast line. Stay on the racing line from a timer. Okay. So I had to do that and keep the minimum speed of, of 103. So that's it's lower than the other one. So that that makes it easier. So how many laps do I have to do this where I have to stay in the line? Just one lap? All right, 10 seconds for that. That's not, that's doable game. I mean, oh, I went below. Wait, did I? No, I didn't. Oh my God, stay in the damn line. And why is it yellow? Why is it yellow on the straightaway game? Am I supposed to lap the gas in the straightaway? Like, game's breaking thing is very, very bizarre. I went below 103. Son of a bitch. <sighs> Do it again. It's one lap. It's one lap. And I can't even... <laughs> it's okay. It was the first go, you know? It's just, I'm still learning, you know? I'm like a, I'm, a, I'm like an ape. Well, I mean, we're all evolved, evolved apes, but I mean... Oh, yeah. just Well, it's kind of hard to keep that damn fucking speed. I, I'm amazed that didn't end the challenge. Fucking, fucking racing line. I swear to God. I was going to say, I'm amazed that it didn't end the chat. I went up went below the goddamn speed. And I can't, my brain can't process simple shit. <sighs> All right. Take three. Again, this is, it's just not difficult. But, you know, when I'm doing this on the fly and I don't have six hours of practice and I'm not a good... Oh, my God. I, I can't. It, is this Richmond? Is this Richmond? Because that sure as hell felt like a Richmond corner. <laughs> that was fucking terrible. Oh my god. We could cheese it. I could cheese it. It's kind of hard to keep it. Well, it's kind of hard to keep it on the bottom and at 103. Well, kind of worked. It's going to work. Oh, it did. <laughs> Take that game. I cheesed the shit out of it, but I beat it. Oh yeah. After New Hampshire is Dover, so we have to do the perfect line at Dover. So that's interesting. This will be the first time I'm actually going to be going to Dover on this game for myself in quite some time, just like New Hampshire. Surprisingly, New Hampshire was kind of easy. Weirdly enough, I mean, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't feel like wanting to die. So I don't know. We'll see. We're almost done with the COT Speedway Challenge, so we're almost there. And then after that, I think we have one more ten-like challenges, and then five ones after. That. So we're almost there. Oh yeah, damn timer thing. I keep forgetting every part. You know, I, I don't, I don't script that out. Like I don't like write it down. It just, it just happens. I just fucking forget. So first place, twenty seconds. That's that's doable. I think that's doable. All right, so stay in the in the line for what three laps and get to first. So uh, we'll we'll see. I, I don't know how dumb the AI are gonna be here if they're just gonna. I don't know. Well. I don't know if I'm either just feeling crazy or, or what, but it feels like I'm getting better at holding my line. Just a little bit. As I say that, I fucked it up, but it's okay. So it's three laps, and there we go. We get, we get back in line. Okay, we just hit Stremmy a little bit. We're losing time. We just need to get to first. I don't think that should be, you know, too complicated. Just got to take her time, stay in the draft, get by these cars. They're spreading out. They're spreading out. Well, you know, hit David Rudiman and hit the wall, too. That That's like I'm asking for the game to end the damn challenge. Like, I'm just, I'm fucking testing it and teasing it. And we're losing so much damn time, too. Like, you know, there we go. Oh, God. Oh, well, it's over. Rip. Am I going to flip? No? Oh, well, that's, a, oh, that's unfortunate. I thought I was going to flip, go through the pit wall, and, and kill a couple people, but no. Well, that's, that's disappointing. I don't know if it... 
I don't know if it's me, but it feels like these challengers are really being, like, really, really generous all of a sudden. Like, like the Atlanta one was ridiculous, how, like, you had four laps and, like, ten seconds on them. Like, like in here, they're, they're really being generous. Like, it's almost like... I don't know. It's just it, it's just weird. It's just, it's just something worth noting. Junior just completely just gets off the tracks. So I don't know what that's about. I want to get in this Stremmy's line, but you know he's kind of just blocking in. So we're just gonna try to actually make up positions like a race car driver would. And Junior's just not having any of it. But we get by him and we touch Kenseth, so that's good. And we just, just need to get to first. And again, another instance where I want to get up high, but Kenseth is already there, so I should just stay in the higher tier groove lane thing. And it's not gonna work. Maybe it is? I don't know. Okay, there we go. Right there with Kurt Busch. Can't really do anything just yet. Well, oh, yes it is. I, I see an opening. Yep, there we go. Just cheese it. There we go. <laughs> just, there we go. <laughs> uh, again, I, I'm amazed it didn't end the challenge, but we beat it. And that's all that matters. The eighth challenge is the hot lap. So complete a lap within the time provided. And it's a 25.3. I don't know if that's fast, slow, or what, but uh, we'll try it. I mean, if we're going to be by ourselves, then I can really just, you know, go into the corners with no regard for human life, including my own. 25, okay, well, I guess 25.3 is, I guess, more, a little bit more reasonable if we're going to be starting off kind of slow here. But again, it's just one lap, so... These challenges are just... It's weird because the, the where the challenge ends it sometimes isn't right at the line? Well, that kind of was, like, okay, but, like, there's other ones where it's just, like, well, Pocono's, like, a little bit before the line, so I don't understand that. Kind of did a shitty job through that corner, but hey, for not really use racing this track in over seven years on this game, that's that's not bad, I guess. So off of turn four, are we gonna beat the the target time? And yes, we do. Twenty four six, so about seven tenths of a second faster. So yeah, we beat that in one take. On to the next one. We're almost done with these these challenges for this this like section. Challenge nine is overtake, catch and pass required number of cars. Okay. So just simply overtake eight cars. All right, if there's no if there's no draft to worry about, then it shouldn't it shouldn't be that hard, right? I, I don't know. Ooh, look at this. I mean, they're they're really spread out. So this is gonna be easy. All right. I mean, we do have like a like a time limit thing, but I mean, this is this can be nice. Get by Gordon, Fancy Nancy. I don't know what that means, but whatever. We get by Stuart, Gordon, R Rudiment. I mean, we already got by three of them before we even got to the line. <laughs> Good lord. Oh my god, I, I swear this is on like the gold, or like the hard like thing. Like the hardest thing the challenge can be. So, I... <laughs> it's like the game is like realizing that, hey, the first like half of these were, like these challenges were really, really freaking bullshit. So we're just going to give you a break here and make these like really easy because like... Maybe it's just the, the, how the how the the handling of the car is at certain tracks is easier said than done. I don't I don't know, but yeah, we're just breezing through this. I mean, they were all spread out, we were able to get by them like one at a time or two at a time, and yeah, there we go. <laughs> My God, it's just damn. It's just it's nice to actually beat challenges that are freaking easy, and that doesn't make me want to die. And the last challenge is pack navigation. Use your skills you learn to finish as high as possible. So, stay above tenth and finish first at Dover. So, um, with how Dover's been, this should be pretty easy. Hmm. Okay. So this is like how many laps do we have? Basically eight laps. And I'm already getting hit from behind from Rudd. Thank you. So I'm gonna try to go on the outside. I feel like they're gonna pinch me into the wall. So. You know, might as well give it a shot. And no, it didn't. Oh my god, we actually give Jared a shot. We were actually... Oh, sorry, Gordon. <laughs> but, yeah, that's... I, I'm shocked. They're just really easy here, I get. Oh, whoa. Apron! Well, you know what? I deserve that. You know, I was being cocky for a bit, and the game just said, mm -mm. smack me right in the bottom. Let's try this challenge again. We pretty much like, got through like half the field or ha like up to like third in like one corner. So I don't think this sh this should be really hard. Just I was just you know, being arrogant and I fucked up. So we get a good run here on the outside. Get by all of these cars. Jarrett, thank you very much. He kind of pinched me in the wall a little bit, but no big deal. I'm just gonna use the outside again. 
or the super outside line, my lord. And we're gonna actually gain two spots, maybe three. We'll kind of we'll try a duck down low for Vickers. It, didn't, it really didn't work out, but it kind of did. Nip the apron there a bit, get to the inside of Jeff Byrne, and there we go into the lead. And I, we have like, wait, another six laps to, to chill around the racetrack. I guess so. I don't even think we're gonna catch lap cars, so this is gonna be kind of boring. But thankfully, with the power of editing, anything could be made entertaining. <laughs> Here we go, white flags out for ourselves one more time around for this challenge and the, to end this uh, speedway stuff. Still pulling away by a bit. Um, I think tires might be affecting me a little bit as well as the damage we have on the car. But it's just, it's, it's, I mean, even, even so, I mean, we're just pulling away just enough, so. It's, you know, it's just, it just worked out fine. So off the final corner, we'll beat this challenge. And that's the most progressive Part, I think in this entire series we got through like seven challenges <laughs> all right big shout out to my tier three patreon supporters the Denver Elves, Ron Hopper, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ronnie Lazar, Michael Harrison, Day 500, Champ 15, and Jeff Gordon for their donation again I can't thank you enough for your contribution and support to the channel it does mean a lot to me and I seriously can't thank you guys enough for your help I'll see you all next part when we do the uh, next challenge which basically after this one we have like what, 15 more left to do that may sound scary, but I think we start off at like 55s, something like that. I don't know, but yeah, it, it was a good part. I, I can't believe it. I I didn't get pissed off too much. Yeah, I'll see. I'll see you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.